So back in 2018, when the Spider-Man movie Into the Spider-Verse was released, Jordan Brand also dropped a sneaker inspired by the Chicago colorway, which featured a translucent outsole and also speckled 3M dots to kind of give it that webbed kind of look. And in 2023, the latest Spider-Man movie Across the Spider-Verse recently released. And to coincide with the movie's release, Jordan Brand have again decided to take inspiration from the film and drop another Jordan 1, but this time with much different elements to the original origin story back in 2018. And the rumours were that this was a limited release in terms of the number of pairs. So for me, this was a major W because I was able to get it on release day and in my size. And this sneaker takes inspiration from the Chicago colorway, which again is very sought after and is one of my grails. So I really have to add this to my Jordan 1 collection. So let's check it out. Hey, what's going on? Looks it back on the video. And today I'm checking out the Air Jordan 1 High OG next chapter. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, be it unboxings, opinions, reviews, etc., please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you do enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And feel free to drop a comment in the section below. As I'm checking out a Jordan 1 sneaker that dropped alongside the most recent Spider Man movie, Across the Spider Verse which takes inspiration from the film, but also from the classic Chicago colorway. And that is the Air Jordan 1 High OG next chapter. So this sneaker drops on May the 20th for a retail price of £180 here in the UK or $200 out in the US. So my original plan was to cop this on the sneakers app, but it was a draw. So I was making my chances pretty slim. But then I got a notification that Offspring um, actually had a full size run. So I jumped onto their website and um, from, to my surprise, I saw that not only is that my size, but there are many pairs available. So I put in my details, waited, wait for confirmation, and then boom, I'd actually caught the sneaker. Now, the mistake I made was I decided to go for an in-store pickup. This meant it took longer to get into my hands than obviously if I got it through the post. But nevertheless, I picked it up a couple of days ago. And considering it sold out across the board, this for me was a major W. And I really have it in the collection. So let's check out more about the sneaker. The Air Jordan 1 High OG... Next chapter is the second sneaker that Jordan Brand have released alongside a Spider-Man movie, um, this time across the Spider-Verse. The first sneaker that dropped back in 2018 was called The Origin Story, and it was a Spider-Man movie into the Spider-Verse. And on that release, it had 3M dots across the upper, as well as a translucent outsole. And that's seen as quite a sought after sneaker, and you know even today that's reflected in the resale price, which is around... 800 pounds when this sneaker dropped i was kind of on the fence a little bit about it but then i was like you know what it's a it's a chicago colorway which is one of my a very much sought after sneaker of mine it's actually a grail so to get a sneaker that has inspiration for that is definitely double for me so for me the color book is nice i like the detailing and actually if i compare it to the origin story i feel this is a, this pops a lot more uh, and it's definitely one that i'm looking to add to the rotation so let's check out the details one thing i would say is because it takes inspiration from the spider-man movie I was actually thinking that, you know, you would get special packaging, but unfortunately you do not. So you just get your standard Nike Air Jordan 1 box. You get your Nike text and swoosh in red on the top. And we've seen this kind of glossy box. Obviously you've got Nike on the side, Nike on the side here. And then you also have 1985 Air Jordan 1 on the bottom right there, because obviously it's an OG cut. Size tag reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG SP. The colorway is University Red Black. That's my true size of UK 13, US 14. So pop the lid. Again, this is what kind of continues because you get your standard tissue paper and obviously it's got some tears in it. So, but again, we don't really care about that. You peel that back. Then we have the sneaker. So that's the Air Jordan 1 High OG next chapter. So here we have the sneaker. As you can see. 
Uh, it takes inspiration from the uh, Chicago colorway, the red and white color blocking, as you can see. And again, I think it's you know quite some got some nice little details we talk about in the review. So starting on the outsole, you've got this translucent red outsole, as you can see, and obviously you've got your standard Nike and swoosh right there. You just want you get on all Jordan ones. Obviously, you've got tread patterns here and at the top. Now this does actually glow in the dark, as you can see from the B-roll. Uh, so that's kind of fire. And uh, yeah, just another little nice little touch. Turn to the side, you've got your just your standard white midsole right here, and then obviously your pi plastic piping at the top here. Then we come to the upper, and you've got this color blocking of obviously the pattern leather right here. You've got this suede element right here, and it's like slightly different red. And then again, that's just to take inspiration from the film. Come around to that tool box. So you've got on the mud guard, you've again got this nice leather piece right here. So you've almost got three elements. You've got your leather, you've got your suede, then you've got your pattern leather right here. So again, that's quite an interesting detail. And as again, you've got that mud guard goes obviously around the toolbox. Standard toolbox on the Jordan 1, so you've also got your holes right here, as you can see, perforated holes. And then as we go up the sneaker, as I mentioned, you've got your pattern leather element right here with the first three eyelets. Then you've got this suede piece right here with this little pink, yellow, and blue color right here. And again, additional eyelets going up. And then we come up to obviously the ankle. And then you've got this kind of patchwork element right here. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. And then obviously the pat leather can see it at the top. If we look at the tongue, it's a, it's a mesh tongue. So again, standard, we pretty much do most Jordan ones. And then at the top of the, top of the tongue, you've got the Nike in air text and then the swoosh right there in white on this uh, red background. And then underneath that, you've just got this uh, white piece right here. And obviously then the stitching you see there. The tongue itself is kind of a cell color. So it's quite interesting. And obviously then you've got your um, black laces just going up there's like they flat black laces right there there are no additional laces that come with these so you do just get the one set so, so again a little bit disappointing then on the back of the tongue it's just plain there's nothing there as you can see right there and then as we go around the ankle you can see you've got this uh, black pattern leather again continues right here as you can see going all the way around to the back and then you will then notice if we turn to the medial side on here you've got these circles and these are kind of to pay homage to Miles Morales' his Spider-Man costume in the film and of course that 3D element as well so I think it's quite fire. As we go back onto the lateral side you can see obviously you've got your black swoosh right here and again this is in this pattern leather um, so again it's very shiny and as you can see it goes obviously all the way around to the back as you would get with most of the Jordan ones. And on the back you've then got this suede kind of furry piece here and then you've got this more smoother element at the back again to match what you see on this panel right here so again that's quite an interesting detail you've then just got this black element from the swoosh and obviously then going to the back of the sneaker which you get with the most jewel ones as we go on to the medial side you can see again you've got this uh, smooth leather paneling right here and again then you've got this little pattern leather bit right here quite a nice little detail and then obviously as you go down the sneaker you've then got those lots again for the Mars Morales uh, costume so again it's quite interesting if we go inside the sneaker on the sock liner, standard fabric sock liner, so again, it's uh, you know quite nice to the touch. Again, it's an OG cut, so it's not going to be the most comfortable if you're wearing it for a long period of time. But I definitely think for you know short periods, I think it's you know going to give that you give that good support. Obviously, it's, an, it's a high ankle cut as well. And then one last detail is on the in insole. You can see it's got Nike and Air in that uh, red writing, as you can see right there. So I think it's quite an interesting detail. One last thing on the side is the Wings logo. It's embossed, so you can see you've got Air Jordan in yellow writing. Obviously, then you've got the Wings logo right there. And again, that's what you see on all Jordan ones. So yeah, that is the sneaker, and I think you know I really do like it. I mean, it's, it's got some interesting texture elements, and obviously the materials have been used. Obviously, you've got the pattern leather, you've got your suede, you've got your you know tumbled leather at the top right here. So I think it's a good a match contrast as well. In terms of sizing, I went true to size, and they do it with all my Jordan ones. And that fits fine. It does have quite a lot of toe box, and they're quite a wide foot. Um, so if you have a narrow foot, you maybe go down half a size, but for me, true to size works fine. As you can see for neon feet, you know, it, it definitely looks nice on feet and you could wear it shorts for the summer, but for me, it's probably going to be a long pants thing, probably with jeans, but definitely with joggers, I think it definitely looks nice. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. In terms of resale, so it's not too bad right now. These retail for £180 here in the UK, last sale on StockX was £214. So we're at about £40 markup right now, so... Obviously with fees, you're paying a little bit, about £50, I'd say. So it's not a huge amount. And compared to, obviously, the origin story, it's definitely an affordable sneaker. And again, that's kind of market how it is these days. A lot of sneakers are going for not a huge amount above retail. Um, so if you wanted to pick this up, you definitely could for a, 
a fairly decent price. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments if it's something you missed on and obviously if you plan to pick it up. So what do you think of the sneaker? Did you cop or did you pass? For me, as I, as I said, it was quite a hard sneaker, so I think a lot of people did miss out on this. But as I've mentioned, the resale price is quite reasonable, so it's definitely something you probably should add to your collection, especially if you want a Chicago light colorway, but obviously not paying in Chicago pricing right now on the secondary market. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So thanks for checking the video. If you did enjoy this content and want to see more, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really will help the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. See you in the next video.